Welcome to my setup tour. This is my new office I just created um, for YouTube and Twitch. I just started a Twitch recently, uh, links in the description below. I just built this studio recently. I showed you guys on uh, YouTube um, on the community page. Go check the pictures out. And um, just wanted to give you guys kind of like a tour of the studio uh, area. So I have a I have a monitor, you know, I have a monitor, a PC, laptop, um, a microphone, and a mouse and keyboard and audio interface, but uh, not really everything matches. <laughs> Actually, the uh, monitor and the laptop and the mouse are all Asus products. Uh, but the the uh, keyboard is actually a uh, Razer. It's a Razer Chroma keyboard I got a long time ago. And my mouse is uh, part of the ROG series, Republic of Gamers series uh, mouse. It's really nice uh, from Asus. And uh, my laptop is a Asus ROG uh, laptop. Um, I bought it in like 2019, so I don't really know. I don't really remember all the specs, but I'm pretty sure it has a. Uh, uh, RTX 2070 Max-Q with 6 gigabytes of VRAM for the graphics chip and it's got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and it's got a uh, one terabyte one terabyte SSD drive and um, yeah I think the processor is it's definitely got 2.5 gigahertz it's an Intel either ninth seventh or ninth generation but it's an i9 something so it's it's pretty powerful <laughs> I don't know much about CPUs though but yeah, it's a really great computer. I've had it for, you know, what is it, 20? I've had it for four years, pretty much, actually exactly four years now, looking at the date, um, but it's never failed me once, so it's really nice. And I use it for all my video editing, that all the videos on my channel were done uh, with Adobe Premiere using this computer. And then I also got this uh, Asus monitor recently, which is uh, really nice. It's a, it's a 1080p, a 27 inch um, G-Sync, uh, it's got uh, 165 hertz, but um, I didn't know much about cables at the time, so I tried to hook a HDMI up to it, um, but it wasn't compatible for 165, so I only got 120 hertz. So what I had to do was run this um, USB-C display port to a uh, USB-C cable from the laptop to the display port in um, the monitor. So to get the 165 hertz, I had to get I had to use a uh, display port. Cable. But I didn't have a display port in my laptop, so I figured out that I had to use the USB-C to display port cable. And it worked out, because I can use 165 hertz now, and it's really butter smooth. Uh, this thingy here is uh, my, uh, my handy dandy microphone. Uh, it's an Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR uh, condenser microphone. It's really nice. It's only like 100 bucks. It's really, it's got really good quality for $100. Um, and I, I recommend it to anybody who's just starting out, like like I am. <laughs> it's a it's a good budget microphone, and uh, you should always get this uh, pop filter. The pop filter did not come with it, so you should definitely get a pop filter with it. And this, I forget what this thing is called. It's like a, it's to uh, when I when I hit the when I hit the stand by accident or something. It's to cut out the uh, noise. Also, I have the I have the mic arm, which is actually uh, it's Elgato. Um, which is really nice. Elgato makes great products. It's an Elgato Wave, Elgato Wave arm, I think. It's really nice. It just hooks on here, and the cords go underneath in this kind of magnetic, magnetic strips that, or magnetic uh, metal things that just kind of hide the cables, which is really nice. So I used to go with RGB because I was like a super gamer, but now I just kind of like white because it's nice, and uh, always go with black. Come on, who doesn't go with black? Black, 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 black. Everything has to be black if you're a true gamer. So yeah, all this cost about 100 billion dollars. It was really expensive, but it's definitely worth it because it sounds great. Everything sounds amazing. Uh, yeah, you guys should check out the uh, apartment tour video on my channel. Actually, it seems to be uh, getting a lot of reach recently after eight months of posting. It finally started going out, but uh, yeah. It shows the rest of my apartment, which you guys should check it out. It's in the link and in the description below. And it'll also be at the end screen at the end of the video. Always have dual monitors when video editing. At least two. You have to have two because you need to be able to see what you're doing and uh, edit at the same time. And it's I used to only use this laptop and this one monitor to edit videos and it really sucked. That's why I got this uh, new monitor and it helped me a lot.
Oh yeah, so this is uh, Elgato again, uh, another Elgato product. It's Elgato uh, face cam. It's a really nice webcam. It shoots at 1080p 60fps and it's pretty uh, low budget too. Uh, I highly recommend it. I used it, I used it on my uh, recent video where I uh, played the Attack on Titan game. You should check that out. Links in the description below. Also in the end screen. Yeah, I have my audio interface as well, which is uh, Behringer. Um, it's really nice. It's only got one input, but uh, that's all I need. I only use one mic. Uh, but it's great. Uh, you definitely need an audio interface when using an XLR uh, microphone because it doesn't directly plug in to your computer. So definitely get an audio interface. I recommend the, this uh, Behringer. Uh, Behringer Euphoria UM2. It's really good. Also, I know my uh, desk is full of kind of full of cables around here, but um, cable management is really great. I just, I mean, underneath you can't see anything. So I kind of wrapped it up nicely. I'm pretty proud of that. See, I actually have my internet wires all running down the line here, all kind of neatly organized and then going under my carpet. And then around here, and we go under the light here, and then that just, that light plugs into here. And then all my cables, including my internet, is attached, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's attached like back here with some clips. And it runs all the way up here. And then it goes all the way uh, to my laptop there. So you can see that my, uh, my internet is directly plugged in right there. And then all everything that connects to the laptop is already connected in. And if I don't have enough USB ports, I have them under here actually hiding under the uh, cooler for the laptop as well. And uh, so I also have, when I stream games, I have a capture card that lies under here. It's uh, connected via USB-C to my uh, computer, and it's also connected with HDMI to the monitor, and then an HDMI cable out. And clipping with these clips here, I got it organized to go down here and around here, and it goes all the way around, all the way to my Xbox Series X down here under there. Uh, so when I want to play, instead of playing on the TV, and I want to just stream the game, I just um, switch the uh, switch the HDMI cables out. The rest of the cables are all kind of, it kind of looks bad under here, but they're all jumbled over here uh, under, and I built, I put this thing onto my desk, this attachment, the cable, cable tray. And then all the cables kind of hide underneath, hide, hide behind this bar here so you can't see them. And they're clipped like this, and they just run along the bar, and they all go up to either my laptop. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have wireless, like, I don't have wireless for my keyboard and mouse, but oh well. I mean, I bought these. I bought this keyboard and mouse like a long time ago. When I play the, uh, when I play on the monitor, or when I edit videos uh, with my laptop and use my monitor, this monitor is 165 hertz. But to get that, I needed to use a uh, USB-C port to uh, display port to the monitor. So when I play, when I stream with the Xbox, I just use HDMI port to the monitor. And we come over here. Uh, I got my piano. So when I want to like relieve stress or something. I just play on the piano right here. And um, yeah, we come over here and we can see my TV right there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, the TV. And then I have the Xbox as well as another Xbox and stuff there. And I've got a bunch of cable. I got a bunch of cables there that I don't really use. And then I just sit on the, sit on the couch here. And I got this, uh, I got this foam, I got this foam cushion that actually supports my back for the couch. Cause it, the couch kind of sucks, but yeah. Yeah, so this is where I play my games. Yeah, so this is where I play my games when I uh, play on the TV with my Xbox. Hey guys, sorry about that. I totally forgot to record the outro for this video. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my setup tour, $100 billion setup tour. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.